Hello, this is Mark Smith with Family Tree Counseling Associates. And um, I've got a real powerful couple of videos here for you. Um, I'm at the beach, so I've got my captain's hat on. <laughs> the fedora in the last one I thought looked pretty silly. I don't know about you guys, what you thought. But um, but the, the title of these part one and part two videos, I'm calling it the slaughter of trust. I got some really super powerful emails from a woman from Canada. Uh, some of the most powerful emails I've ever received. And she used the word slaughter in a way that just jumped out at me. So <clears throat> I'm gonna begin reading the email and then I'm just gonna respond Sorry about the sound. There's when motorcycles go by, it gets sort of loud. So I'm going to call this this woman Susan, and she is from Canada. She writes, "I've been watching your videos, and, and I got to tell you, folks, she 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 wrote these this first uh, email really upset. She was very upset when she wrote it. You could tell that that she uh, was upset just by how she went about it. So." I've been watching your videos once I found your web page. I have no idea why I'm emailing as I know uh, I'm in Canada and there's nothing you can do for me. Well, uh, the first thing I want to say is we live in a very small world, thankfully. Um, there is so much that Family Tree Counseling can do for you, whether you live in Canada or Great Britain or Australia or Timbuktu or Carmel, Indiana wherever you are if you speak English uh, we are a little bit limited with that uh, let me tell you all the things that, that we can do for you and I'm gonna get back to Susan in just a second um, and and I've already shared this with Susan uh, through the miracle of Skype we have 10 therapists who can work for with you directly in a way that really works well and the fees range anywhere from thirty dollars for our interns to my fee of uh, 175 per hour um, another way that I've been able to reach people and help people is make making videos like this one where I specifically address an issue that somebody has and and I send them the link and say this is what I have to say to you given what I know it's gonna help out a lot of other people too but I make it with this this woman specifically with Susan specifically I'm, I'm making it out of I just feel a great deal of compassion for her and I'm, I'm that's why I'm making it um, so you can also watch, we have now 200, with this, with these two, it's gonna be, I believe, 291 videos on issues that uh, are relevant, marital issues, relationship issues. There's a couple, Susan, of uh, playlist on our YouTube channel. If you just go to Family Tree Counseling on YouTube and there's two playlists, one is on affairs, a fair recovery and the other one is called uprooting victim mentality and really the best really good use of your time would be to first watch the videos on a fair recovery and the next would be to watch the uprooting victim mentality it'll change your life forever um, and then thirdly there's another one on abandonment and watch that third um, another way we can help you, uh, my books are on sale this week, and there's a book on affair recovery. It's called, uh, what is it called? I should know, I wrote it. The Secret to Healing Your Marriage After an Affair. And you can get it for $5.50 this week and download it and have it in a matter of minutes. Um, there's also a book on abandonment issues that would be very helpful uh, Susan, you have massive, massive abandonment issues. There's also 350 articles on our website and blogs and podcasts. So, 
Susan writes, I've been married for 35 years. We have five daughters and my husband had a midlife crisis last year. I really don't like that, that terminology, midlife crisis, because it sounds like it's about midlife. And ironically, these crises that cause issues in marriages and issues during, issues during midlife, they're really not about midlife. They're about your childhood. They just happen during midlife. So it isn't that I was this guy and I became this guy and the guy who I became really was not who I was. I was this guy all along. No. You show some of actually who you are and what's been hidden for all those years. So what what has been hidden in your wounds from your childhood comes out in midlife. And it sounds like sort of later in midlife since they were married 35 years. So my husband had a midlife crisis last year that has slaughtered everything about our marriage and everything about me. And I just, it just makes me want to cry to read that because um, I know it feels that way, Susan, but feelings can be um, uh, so powerful and really in this case shouldn't be trusted because what you're feeling and what is true are two different things. The truth is, and, and I won't know, I won't learn about Susan's husband's childhood issues until her next email, but I, I responded to, to her uh, that, uh, or my response is even before I knew what his issues were was that his, his wounds from his childhood were dictating his behavior in his midlife. And he's not a bad fellow and it isn't that he didn't love you and it isn't that he didn't love your daughters and it isn't meant that he it wasn't that he meant to slaughter you it's that that there was a needy little kid at his core and that was just destined to eventually come out and the the pain from this can actually uh susan be redemptive the pain that you're feeling, it can be redemptive and positive. And <laughs> it's actually a gift. And I'm gonna make a case for that in a little bit here. We've got some time. So it doesn't have to slaughter you, it can actually help you. I've, I've walked uh, hundreds of couples through a fair recovery and I'm thinking of one in particular, but, but this is very reminiscent of many couples. Young couple where he had a really not much of an affair. It wasn't slaughtering, but I, I assure you it was brutally painful to his wife. And we worked hard for a couple of years and we got to the end of it. And uh, this um, uh, woman said to me, I wouldn't wish this upon anybody. It's been brutally hard, but honestly, I'm glad we're at where we're at and we wouldn't be where we're at in our marriage. We wouldn't be as healthy as what we are. We wouldn't be as blessed as what we are. We wouldn't be as connected as what we are without having gone through that affair. And then it drove you to therapy. And then we did all this work and we learned about, I learned about my childhood. He learned about his childhood. So ironically, it was a blessing very much in disguise. So Susan writes, actually, okay, she, so she, she tells me about her husband in the first email, okay. He says, uh, he is an adult child of an alcoholic. He witnessed a brutal assault of his mother by his father at age four and he never saw her again until he was in his 30s. And he was sexually assaulted when he was 10. So there you go. Uh, uh, here's the thing, Susan, is, is we all pick people who are exactly as healthy as we are. And you pick somebody as healthy as you. And this, 
This man was very broken. And here's the truth. Uh, Stephen Covey said, you want to help somebody quickly change how they think, change their paradigm. You picked somebody as healthy as you, and you needed to go through this because you described his childhood as his one of his parents was an alcoholic. He witnessed the brutal assault of his mother by his father at age four, and he never saw her again until his 30s. So he was... He was deeply abandoned by his mother. It's bad enough when you get abandoned by your father, but when you get abandoned by your mother, my experience is it's a deeper wound. It's a deeper abandonment. And then you top it off with being sexually assaulted at age 10. So, uh, again, your husband isn't a bad guy. He was a sick guy, an ill guy, a wounded little kid and you picked the right man and he eventually showed you what you needed to see uh hang in there susan and I, I swear what i'm telling you is the truth and i swear it'll change your whole life if you'll listen to me and take it in so <clears throat> so this fellow has severe abandonment issues severe abuse issues and it was only a matter of time until your dysfunctional house came crashing down. People fall in love when they're youngsters and they become enmeshed and they get seven to ten years where things are pretty easy and then you add five kids onto that so add 15 years to that so now we're at year 25 and then there is a distancing in a marriage, and I would guess that there was distance the, those last 10 years or more. And there's an empty hole in your husband's soul, and this, uh, let, me, let me read on here. This person came along and he was vulnerable, and he was uh, somebody who uh, became addictive with this person. So, what love is, is um, it's Mother Nature uh, reenacting our childhood so that we can heal. Um, uh, let me explain this to you, that everybody gets wounds in their childhood and then we're issued psychological defense mechanisms that help us survive. So, Susan... You had a childhood every bit as bad as your husband's, I guarantee you. That's an immutable law of nature. And you needed to have those walls up in order to survive your childhood and get you through your 20s, get you into your 30s, that got you into motherhood. But all along, there was buried truth about who you were and who your husband was buried truth about your childhood so um, the second agenda mother nature has number one is to survive your childhood number two is to get you uh, grown up get you married get you through with your training get you having babies so you did that real well you fell in love you got married you had five daughters but unfortunately there's a, there's a rather uh, wicked third agenda that mother nature has and that is whatever wounds you had in your childhood mother nature wants to heal them but cannot heal them because the psychological defense mechanisms that mother nature provided um, are getting in the way uh, I don't have a whiteboard here but but I would draw a circle with X's around it with wounds in between so those X's were the psychological defense mechanisms and those X's were, were damaged and torn down by the pain of the truth about who your husband was. Your husband always was somebody who was capable of abandoning you. And you were abandoned in your childhood. And this was coming. Susan, this was always coming. Um, the reason it hurts so bad now is because you were hurt so bad when you were a child. So which parent was it, or was it both, who abandoned you? That's why this hurts so much. You told yourself that your family was going to be different, 
but you did not have the emotional health to have a 50 year connected marriage. You ran out of gas probably at year 25 or earlier. And it was just a matter of time. And, and this fellow that you were married to, are married to, I think he was unconsciously looking or vulnerable to a version of his mother. So he was looking for um, a version of his mother and father, probably somebody who was uh, critical, angry, and who tapped into his wounded, needy, little abandoned boy soul. So, so Mother Nature needed a tool, a, a tool that had three attributes. Number one, it was um, something that almost everybody on the planet participates in. Number two, it uh, has to be painful enough to cut through the walls. And Susan, you obviously know how painful that is. And number three, um, it has to be time delayed. It's, it's not meant to cut into you in your 20s or early 30s. It's meant to cut into you more in your 40s and into your 50s. And when it cuts into you, the message that you need to get is this not, it, your wounds are not about him. They're about your childhood, Susan. They're about your childhood. You have a misconception of who he was. You have a misconception of who you are. You have a misconception of what your childhood was. You thought that you married a healthy man and he's just sold you down the river. It's not the truth. You married a hidden man who was an abandoned, abused little boy whose neediness was going to come up and bite you and bite you hard someday. That's the truth. So um, Susan writes, the misery I am feeling is profound. It is me now that cannot recover despite 16 months of attempts at reconciliation. I beg for any assistance. Well, I'm giving you some assistance. I'm telling you the truth. Good therapy is about truth. And if you'll choke this down, it'll save your marriage and it'll re re release you from your misery. I suffer from horrific post-traumatic stress syndromes and rage that is unspeakable. And I get how, how people do suffer for a very similar post-traumatic stress wound. Let's say you know your husband went to a particular hotel or maybe he, he had a song with this woman. The song comes on the radio at re traumatized I get that. But your rage is coming from your abandonment wounds from your childhood and it's coming from your incorrect victim mentality. That you feel like you've been done so wrong and you're so victimized that you have to rage at him. And when you rage at him, guess what? You become his father. Part of why he married you, I'm telling you the truth now, is he knew in his heart of hearts, even many years ago, who you were. You were gonna become somebody who would rage at him. And here's the thing. I've seen more marriages uh, ended by the spouse who was cheated on by their victim mentality than actually the person who had the affair. Your husband's willing, it sounds like, to work and to stay married, and you're the one who's stuck in punishing and being critical and being reactive. And, and it's not your fault because you didn't know what I'm telling you, but I'm telling you the truth. Watch my videos, read my books. It will save your marriage. All y'all, rest of you folks out there in this same situation, I'm telling you, you married the right person and they delivered on what you signed up for. You were not victimized ever, ever by your spouse. And they are a gift and the pain that you're experiencing is brutal and it's awful and it's wicked. But guess what? It's just reenacting your childhood. Please get this. Please get this. It'll, it'll make a difference. Um, I've told this story many times before. I actually ran into this woman at Costco the other day. A couple came in. I'm gonna tell you how shifting your paradigm 
can change everything in just a short amount of time. She was filled with contempt. She was filled with rage. She was going to file for divorce. This fellow was acting out sexually. And I ran this same thing past her, same thing I'm telling you. Fact, in about 10 minutes, I've talked for 20 minutes now. So you've heard more about this than she did. And in 10 minutes, everything changed. The divorce was off. And she saw her, her husband as not a pervert to, to, to get the children away from and somebody she needed to divorce, but as somebody who was her co-conspirator in setting this thing up, um, she found out that he wasn't the squeaky clean guy she thought he was because she was brought up by a world-class sexual addict. And that's why she picked him. And her pain was a gift and it changed everything. And I got to look into the eyes of two little girls at Costco two weeks ago. And I got to, I got to know that their, their mom and daddy are still married because of this one truth that I was able to share that, that'll save your marriage, Susan. So Susan writes, how can I get past this? Please give me suggestions. Um, the best suggestion I can give you is read my books, watch my videos, sign up for a Skype appointment, uh, find a way to afford it. It's expensive, but it's a whole lot less expensive than a divorce. And get you and your husband in front of me and I'll get to know this whole situation and I'll pull up and uproot any victim thinking you've got and it'll make, it'll make such a marvelous difference in your life. So Susan writes, I've wanted to die with the pain that I'm experiencing lately. And victim mentality, it kills people. It kills people, it kills marriages. It's the number one cause of divorce. It's probably the number one cause of suicide. So Susan says, thank you. And thank you, Susan, for sharing your pain. Um, watch this video and, and follow through with what I've shared with you. And we'll get, we'll get back to you in part two um, of the slaughtering, the slaughter of trust. Um, so folks, uh, better sign off now. Uh, if you haven't signed up for our YouTube channel, Family Tree Counseling, do so. We're sneaking up on 2,900 uh, subscribers and get those books this week. Uh, this is, uh, what is it, April the 9th? For the next couple days till Sunday, books are 30% off. And I've sold a ton of them the last few days, but download them from FamilyTreeCounseling.com and uh, they will they will change how you think and they will blow your mind <laughs> and, and they will make a difference in your life. So uh, also, again, we've got the 10 therapists available for Skype counseling. So uh, Susan, We'll get back at you in just a moment here. God bless. Thanks for watching, folks.